हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हैकर्स देयर मोटिवेशन अलोंग विद सम एग्जांपल्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम ग्रैब अ नोटपैड एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट वाइट हेड्स दीज आर एथिकल हैकर्स एंड आर द गुड गाइस हु यूज देयर हैकिंग स्किल्स फॉर गुड दे आर नॉन मलिशियस हैकर्स हु यूज देयर स्किल्स टू इंप्रूव सिक्योरिटी दे वर्क विद कंपनीज एंड गवर्नमेंट्स टू फाइंड वलनेबिलिटीज इन सिस्टम्स नेटवर्क एंड एप्लीकेशन कंपनीज हायर दैम टू लीगली ट्राई टू टेस्ट द सिक्योरिटी एंड ब्रेक इन टू द सिस्टम्स बट वाई देर गोल इज टू आइडेंटिफाई वलनरेबिलिटीज बिफोर मलिशियस हैकरस कैन एक्सप्लोइट दैम राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ कंपनी माइट हायर अ वाइट हैड हैकर टू सी इफ दे कैन स्टील कस्टमर डेटा If the hacker can, the company knows they need to fix their security, right? Their primary motivation is to protect and defend, and they believe in making the digital world safer by identifying weaknesses before malicious hackers do. Some other examples of white hats are penetration testers who simulate attacks to uncover vulnerabilities. bounty hunters who hunt for security flaws and report them to companies for rewards and certified ethical hackers who hold certification and specialization in ethical hacking black hats these are the bad guys and the hackers we hear about most often in the news they break into systems without permission often for malicious reasons they might steal data like credit card numbers and your personal information hold systems hostage with ransomware like they will ask demand for money to unlock your data or just cause trouble for example a black hat hacker might break into hospital computer system to steal patient record and sell them on the black market and these are motivated by various factors including financial gain political activism or simply the thrill of hacking and they operate individually or as part of organized cyber criminal groups some other examples of black hats are cyber criminals who are organized groups involved in cyber theft ransomware and fraud hacktivists who are motivated by political or social causes they deface websites or leak sensitive information gray hat hackers gray hats operate in a bit of gray area they might find weaknesses in a system but instead of reporting them responsibly they exploit them for personal gain or maybe even accidentally cause damage they do not have any affiliation with the companies whose system they target they might not be bad guys at heart but their actions can have serious consequences For example a hacker who gains unauthorized access to a government agency's network to expose security flaws but mistakenly cause damage to critical infrastructure Gray hats are motivated by a combination of curiosity ego and the desire to test their hacking abilities they may not have malicious intent but still engage in activities that could harm organizations and individuals blue hat hacker blue hats are similar to white hats but they work independently like a freelancer ethical hacker they are not formally employed by a company but they still have permission to test a system security think of them like freelance security consultants a cyber security researcher who discovers a vulnerability in a software application and reports it to the company responsible for a monetary award and blue hats are motivated by a combination of financial rewards recognition and the opportunity to contribute to improving cyber security and then last in the list we have elite hackers the rock stars these are the top dogs of the hacking world they are incredibly skilled and knowledgeable able to find and exploit vulnerabilities before anyone else even knows they exist they can be a real force for good or bad depending on their motivations some might be driven by the intellectual challenge of finding new vulnerabilities other might use their skills for malicious purposes 
For example, an elite hacker might discover a critical security flaw in a widely used operating system, allowing them to potentially hack millions of devices. Advanced persistent threat groups, state-sponsored hackers with advanced techniques are some of the examples of elite hackers. I have made a detailed video on advanced persistent threat groups which you can go and watch for better understanding. So we have discussed all different types of hackers and each type of hacker operates within a different ethical and legal framework with different motivations and objectives. While some hackers aim to improve cyber security and protect against threats, other exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or malicious intent. So that's all for today. Please share it with your friends and subscribe for more such amazing content. Thank you. See you with another topic, another video soon. Bye-bye.